Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm gonna show you uh, two tests. Uh, this video is gonna uh, be composed by two parts. This is the first part. I have the system running already. I'm running at uh, around 12 volts at uh, yeah one and a half amps. But the input is not important now. As you can see over here, the coils are still connected in series as uh, the previous video the two bottom coils are in series and the two top one I'm gonna connect the transformer on the two bottom one that's that least over here going to this one and over here so the transformer is now connected to the two bottom ones and as you can see I have zero output absolutely nada when I was using the U-Core I had already a little bit of output while using the same transformer and lights what I'm gonna do now with this lead is I'm gonna short the two top coils There's the, the two coils are also in series I'm gonna short them now connect the lead there and there and as you can see I have now output just like I have when using the U-Core that's one part so, loading the two bottom coils, which are in series connected via the transformer and shorting the two coil top coils, which are also in series. And now I do have output like I used to have when using the U-Core only. And I'm still having in there uh, the 5mm uh, magnet. Gonna stop the video now. Uh, reconfigure that connection and show you the second part hope you enjoyed this little bit and thank you for watching and stay tuned okay ladies and gentlemen I'm back with the second part still driving it on 12 volts around one and a half amps it should be lower maybe my um, uh, you say that my switching over here is not optimum anyway like I said, it's not important. Okie dokie. Second test. As you can see, it is completely now um, wired differently. Now, before I had these two bottom coils in series, now I have the two blue ones in series. This one and that one. So across. And the red one over here and the red one over there in series, across. And now I'm going to do the same test with the transformer and the 3 watt EC load. Connecting now. And bingo! I got mouse output without having to short the other two. So apparently using 4 coils I have to uh, connect them across series wise. And now I'm going to also connect the DC the other two coils and load those with the 3 watt DC load and as you can see I have a little bit of output also over there nothing special of course it is in no way more than what I'm putting in at this moment but that's beside the point um, so yeah if I remove the AC the DC part goes brighter look at Connecting EC, DC not so bright. Removing EC, DC brighter. But if I do that with the, if I do that with the DC side, you don't see any difference in the AC. AC output stay the same, whether I connect the DC or not. Hope you can see that. Anyway, so basically, you could say I had them connected wrong in the previous videos but not really because it was working but in this case it wants me to connect them across blue and blue red and red uh, disconnecting everything um, oh yeah one more thing I did a test also with these two try to connect these two in series or parallel it just won't let me I can only use them separately uh, so what I'm gonna do next is uh, rectify also this one so I have both of them rectified and then try to 
connect the DC, the two DC output and series or parallel and see if that is possible. But I tried it with the EC already and it just won't let me. Uh, when I connect them in series, I have two options. The voltage stays the same or no output. Same goes with the parallel style. No output or the voltage climb just like 3 volts only. Anyway. Uh, yeah, nice project. It gives me a lot of headache. But uh, it is a fun project anyway. Did you see you in there? I still have the 10, sorry, the 5 millimeter magnets. And next step will be testing the 10 and see how it goes. But I don't expect nothing special from it either. And of course the DC. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, thank you for watching. Okie dokie, ladies and gentlemen. Decided to uh, put a third part of this video. Now I have the two um, coils that are in series, both of them rectified. These two of here, which is the two blue ones, the one in the front and the one in the back, rectified. And these two are the red ones, one in front and one at the back, also rectified. 3 watt load, 3 watt load, these are uh, bicycle uh, incandescent light bulb. Still running at around 12 volts at 1.5 amps. That's one, and that's the other one. As you can see, when I connect one, the other one gets dimmer. Maybe I should do it like this. You can see the much better. One lamp, two lamps, one lamp, two lamps. When only one is on, it is brighter than when both of them are on. Yeah, pretty sure you can see that pretty clearly now, in the dark. Yeah, you get the idea. Okie dokie. Uh, sorry for a bit of a rush job. I was supposed to put this video online on Saturday, down on Monday, but anyway, that's how life goes. Busy, busy, busy. Hope you enjoyed it, and as always, thank you for watching.